In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to remove and install the Yanmar Quick Attach front bucket, as well as the Yanmar front loader. All right, we're going to start by taking a look at how to remove the quick attach front bucket. Now I've got the bucket angled down in the front and off the ground a little bit to take the weight off the pins. First thing we're going to do, remove the clip and pull the pin out. We'll repeat that on the other side. Okay, we'll just repeat the same thing on this side of the tractor. Move the clip, pull the pin out. A little bit of lubrication on these pins makes this job easier. Okay, we'll get on the tractor, start it up. We'll set the bucket down on the ground and we'll get the quick attach bucket off. We've got the quick attach bucket off. Let's take a closer look at the way this system works. This bar that runs across the top of the loader assembly goes up in these hooks right here on the loader bucket. Then once you have the weight off of the bucket itself, you can slide the pins back through the loader assembly and back through the bucket. Then just put the clips back in and you're back in business. Let's talk about an advantage and a disadvantage to this system. An advantage with this system is it's a very compact quick attach system. So what that does is it keeps everything closer to the pins on your loader assembly, which gives you more lift capacity. A disadvantage is, is this is Yanmar's design, so attachments are going to have to come from Yanmar for it. Let's go ahead and get the bucket put back on the loader assembly. So we've got the bucket back on. We just need to put the pins back in. Once again, I've got the front edge of the bucket tilted down, which is taking the weight off the pins so they slide right back in. Put our clip back in there. This side's good to go. We'll repeat this on the other side. All right, we're just gonna put the pin back in on this side. All right, our front loader bucket is back on. Let's move into removing the front end loader assembly. All right, let's get started with taking the front loader assembly off. First thing we're going to do is start the tractor up, get the loader up in the air so that we can put the stands down. All right, to put the stands down, just need to remove the clip, pull the pin out, lower the stand down. We're gonna put the pin back through at this front location, put the clip back in. We'll repeat that on the other side. Once again, just remove the clip, take the pin out, lower the arm down, put the pin back through in the front position and reinstall your clip. All right, so we've got the stands down. Now we need to get the loader in position to take the pressure off of these pins. I'm gonna show you how we do that.
as I was lowering the boom, I was also tilting the front loader bucket down a little bit so that the front edge of the loader bucket makes contact with the ground before our stands for the loader contact the ground. And the reason we do that is so that the pressure is put on the loader bucket and loader assembly, not on these stands. These stands are just designed to support the weight of the loader once it's detached from the tractor. All right, we've got the pressure off the pins. They come right out. A little bit of lubrication on these pins helps as well. We'll go around to the other side, pull that pin out. All right, we've got both pins out of the loader brackets. So we're gonna go ahead and start the tractor up and use the hydraulics to get the loader off of the brackets. Okay, before we start unhooking the hydraulic lines, we need to relieve the pressure off that system. So we're just gonna take the loader bucket joystick and just move it around to all its positions to relieve the pressure off those lines. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the hydraulic lines disconnected. Just push the sleeve back, pull the line out. We'll go ahead and cap them as we're going. You can see these caps are color coded I don't not only makes it easier to hook the lines back up, but it also helps keep dust and debris out of the lines. You'll notice that you get a little bit of fluid, a little bit of hydraulic fluid out of these as you're taking them apart. That's normal. All right, we'll just take these lines and put them up out of the way. All right, so we've got our loader assembly removed off of the tractor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tractor back in and we'll show you how to put it back on. All right, to start putting it back on, we're gonna hook our hydraulics back up. So just make sure you're matching your colors up, pull the sleeve back, push the line back in, make sure it seats all the way in. I will tell you, if you get back on your tractor and one or more of your functions does not work, first thing to check is to make sure that you have these lines seated all the way in. That's a mistake I've made before. And one of the functions wouldn't work on the loader and I was trying to figure out what was going on and here I didn't have a line fully engaged. All right, we'll get the tractor started up. We'll go ahead and get these brackets back in position.
our stands back up on both sides. We've got the front end loader back on the tractor. So we've looked at how to remove and install the Yanmar quick attach loader bucket. We've taken the front end loader off and reinstalled it. Now, when we were putting it back on, I went ahead and timed how long it took from the time I touched the hydraulic lines till the clip went in on the loader stand on the other side. It was two minutes and 46 seconds to put that loader back on. So even though this loader doesn't have uh, levers to release it's pinned uh, doesn't have a quick disconnect on the hydraulic lines and the front stand you have to put down manually it's still pretty quick to get it on and off a couple important things to remember when you're removing the loader before you disconnect your hydraulic lines make sure you move the loader joystick around and relieve the pressure off those lines if you don't you're going to have problems trying to hook them back up when you're lowering your boom down to relieve the pressure off of these pins Remember to have your loader bucket rolled down a little bit so the weight of the tractor is transferred to the front edge of the loader bucket and not to the loader stands themselves. I hope you've gotten some useful information out of this video and thank you for watching.